Okay, now look at this number right here. A 1,170 ton obelisk lies unfinished at the Aslan Quarry, a crack rendered into stone and unusable. unusable. Now, there are a lot of these around e e Egypt, these, these uh, obelisks like this. This isn't the only one, but this is the broken one. So what they what they were doing is digging it out, and you can see it's pretty well finished, except for this part right here. They were shaping the point of it, and whatever machine was on here, it was you know, just this is pink, pink granite, and they're just taking it out in chunks, whatever whatever routing machine they had, certainly not stone tools making this happen. And they pressed too hard and they cracked it right through here. Just unbuckle the machine, whatever it was, let's just leave it. It's 15 feet in a hole. It's the person taking the pictures up here, and you can see the edge. It's in a hole. Now, the question you have to ask yourself is, how are you going to move a 1,170 ton obelisk? How are you going to move that? You ain't going to move that. Guess what, you have? What else you're not going to do? You're not going to cut it loose from its base. You're not going to cut it loose. There is no saw that would go through that that we have no diamond tip saw that would go because the weight would just stop the blade from spinning. Now, how did these primitive people do this? What bozo got the job of getting under there with his stone axe and going to work? <laughs> Can you see how absurd it is? It's just it's ridiculous. Here's what we see what it would have taken to get a thousand tons up to that. A thousand times. Imagine the logistics involved to get that stone up if you could cut it loose, which we couldn't do. Do you see how absurd it is?